was up my moon tribe this is for the star sign of if i remember sagittarius what's up how you doing i'm healing this is moon tribe tarot this is for the star sign of sagittarius i'm not gonna redo this video though <laughs> i have already gone ahead and pulled off camera these are general messages only which means take what resonates leave behind what does not if you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100 percent correlate to your story you can find the information in the description box down below on how to contact me so let's get right off with it <clears throat> And the basis, we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. The Nine of Wands is a Perseverance card. It represents rising above. It is the strongest bitch in G... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. She's the strongest bitch, and she understands Perseverance. She's very resilient. So th this is kind of a same shit, different day, but it's also in the basis. It represents kind of fighting the same battle, but doing it well. Definitely, it, it's going to continue on, but definitely rising above, persevering, definitely domineering it. So, the desires is interesting. This is temperance. Temperance is an ebb and flow. It represents the alchemy and the skill of healing and, in um, basically just alchemizing your world and manifesting your reality into one that is clear and concise, something that is balanced, something that ebbs and flows for healing. We have the Six of Cups going for you, which means there is a gift being given here. It could be very, very possible that it is an ex coming back or it is somebody that is coming back and giving you emotion. It doesn't have to be an ex. It could be a family member, anybody that you fostered emotion with. In your opposing, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which represents kind of not being in your full power of being alone it kind of i get this as this is a woman who is strong and independent and i did get that as the basis because i kind of want to say that they're kind of similar ish the kind of ish and um, the nine of pentacles represents a woman that has all of her um what do you call it she she is emotionally capable she has her wits about her she's also financially independent but I get this as the opposing, as somebody that is the opposite. It is also, I kind of see this as somebody that is afraid of being alone. And that that's why I feel like there is an offer coming back to you. I feel like there is an offer coming in. I feel like there's an offer being made of new emotion. Or not new emotion. This is definitely a blast from the past. But it's. I feel like this is going to be a new thing where this just all of a sudden comes in and this person comes back with emotion. And you are going to take it because I feel like you don't want to be alone. However, I don't get this as a bad thing. The Ace of Pentacles is actually a really, really, really good card to get for an indication of a new beginning that is going to be prosperous and financially fulfilling. Um, so I do get this as a spread where somebody, I do feel like somebody is going to be coming back into your life. Um, it's going to be a blast from the past. It's going to be a gift that I think you are going to take. And I feel like for part of it, it is going to be because you don't want to be alone. Or it is because you are not financially, I, for some of you, feel like you are not able to do things alone financially. You might need a little bit of extra help. I'm not, not trying to knock you if that's what you're doing. I, I mean, honestly, like when I read this for this, I would, I would like to tell you to be alone, to understand, to like, to be of yourself, of your higher power. But the, the outcome here is not bad. The Ace of Pentacles is a really good outcome. It does represent that there's going to be new financial and emotional abundance to be upheld in the month of January. So I definitely don't see this as a bad thing. Just, just herald, um, the caution that you probably should learn how to, be okay alone if you are trying to, if, if the only reason why you're getting back into this is because you're afraid of being alone, definitely, I would definitely work on that. I don't see this going negatively though in the month of January. I don't see anything bad. Just, I feel like the need to work on yourself there is definitely apparent and to take that up. But I, for the most part, it looks like it is going to turn out for you. Whatever happens, I definitely see a favorable outcome in your favor. Okay, Sagittarius is good reading for you. Peace out until next time I move drug.